yeah, no one it's Lee from Dilly Journals. Welcome back to my channel and to my first plan with me in my 2023 planner. I am planning the week of the 26th of December 2022. Why does this look so washed out? My colours look really washed out. Maybe they don't, I don't know. Anyway, um, using this New Year's Eve kit from Planner Vase. Here's the kit. I will be using it in my pre planner, but honestly, I didn't plan that week yet. Um, I'm a bit behind on planning in my pre planner for the first couple of weeks. So I'm pairing it, oh Kiara, sorry darling, I'll just whack you in the face, with the matte bronze, matte rose mixed metal from Scrub Prince Co in the shimmer format. So I've got the two sheets of full boxes, two sheets of underlays, and the um, scripts and icon page. Then extra things I have, I have the um, hole protectors, and I've got the ones with the shimmer on, um, and I've got the rose and the bronze, and I'll switch, so like, this one and this one will be bronze and then these two will be brought four will be bronze you see what i mean then i've got um rose gold boxes i don't have any bronze boxes and i've got some extra just um confetti bougie just so that i make my life easier then i've got everything pulled out in my plan face reusable sticker album i do pr for plan face so you can get a discount by using tilly 10. um i have the stickers also pulled out for this in my um old planner which you won't be seeing that spread but that's why there's two of everything on there which is why it looks a bit cluttered so this is my planner it's in the aura estelle hmm. i forgot i had those um so um i have made a decision that i'm not going to do monthly pages so whilst i take my pages out for this week i'm actually going to remove these two pages and replace them with this one actually we want that one and that one um, so I do need to do that for the rest of the planner. I do have them off to the side already. So let's just move the Aura Estelle out of the way. Just make sure we get this the right way round because we're undated there. And without any further ado, I'm going to pop the base of the spread down. Okay, so whilst I'm popping down the base of the spread, I just want to talk about a couple of things that are changing in my planner in 2022 and in these videos, um, as well as do like the first of what I'm generally going to be doing in these voiceovers. But basically, um, I have decided to try and make all of my own scripts for Plan With Me's um, so that, um, sorry, that was my camera switching off because I'm going to go eat my lunch before I finish filming this Plan With Me. Um, because I've seen loads of people doing it and I just think it looks so good and I really want to try it myself. So I've done the next four spreads. I've done all the scripts the same size. Looking at them at the moment, I think they're probably on the smaller side of what I'm going to want in the long term, but we'll see how they work. I've done all of them the same size for these few um, things. I'm also obviously now in a rings planner, so I'm going to put, put deco down the middle of my spread um, over the like whole area. Um, and use date covers in my 2023 planner, um, memory planner every day. Um, and that's it for, for sort of changes. And then in the voiceovers for videos, I'm going to talk about the books that I finished that week. Um, I might not always do this. Um, I'm going to see how it goes. A few videos I'm going to film until this goes up. I will, um, you know, um, da -da -da -da. I will oh my god why are words so hard i will try it out and if you guys like it i'll carry on if not i won't um if you don't like hearing about books and you don't really care about books just skip over the or mute me for the base and then come back for the day by day um or just let me know down below what you think of this do you think it's a good idea or not so the two books i finished this week um one was make you mind this christmas which is by lizzie huxley jones um so this i'm not gonna like give spoilers i'm just gonna tell you what i thought of it and like the brief synopsis so um this is about half who is um at a christmas party she has too many drinks she and she uh, kisses a guy called christopher um his ex appears and they pretend that they are fake dating the ex tells um christopher's family and then half ends up going to his house for christmas um And then half meets Christopher's sister called Kit um, and it goes from there. So this is a gorgeous, gorgeous queer romance and I freaking loved this. So I gave this four and a half stars. Um, I just thought it was um, a nice, I don't know how to explain it, like a cute Christmas read. Um, 
it was queer, it was fat positive, disability positive, and yeah. Um, it was a perfect Christmas read. So if you're looking for a read next Christmas, highly, highly recommend. Um, the second book I read is called A Merry Little Meet Cute, and I gave this 3.25 stars. Um, so this is about B and Nolan. Um, so B is a fat sex worker who accidentally gets cast in a Hallmark-esque movie. Um, the male lead is Nolan and it's about their relationship. Nolan has a bit of a sordid past, he's an ex-boy um, band, so they all need the film to go well. Um, they actually both know, although they try and hide their past, they both know who each other are. So um, Nolan is actually on B's equivalent of OnlyFans. Um, and B had a huge crush on him as a kid from his boy band. Um, it's a really nice thing and there's lots of drama. Um, there's possibly a few many too many issues thrown in to the book which kind of made it seem like it was a little bit all over the place for me. Um, I'd have preferred it to like stick to one or two like main issues rather than going off on several different tangents. Um, it had a great scene, seems, a lot of steam scenes um, which you can probably predict from the like premise of the books. A nice read um, but it wasn't anything like hugely hugely special but I would recommend it but just it was fine. That's probably how, what I call a, a three star read is it was fine. Ah my memory notes. That's not gonna end well is it? <laughs> Given I didn't even put half the bougie boxes down because I'm gonna do it as we go along that pace took me for freaking ever but that's how we're looking. We have got quite a few day extenders but not as ridiculous amounts as in my um I don't even know why like this week didn't even feel that busy. Um, I have put just the rose and matte bronze bougie underneath the day extenders so we'll see. I really do need my memory notes and I ain't got them. <laughs> so there's that. Let's um, zoom in and I will grab my iPad and we'll get some memory notes going. Okay so the 26th was obviously Boxing Day. There are lots of holidays to mark in this spread but I think we'll mark that with just them with a... I might actually just do that on all three days so Saturday and Sunday as well and just mark all three. Should I have used a bigger box? I feel like I should have used the court box. Why am I like this? I'm so annoying. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll get started properly in a sec. Right let's try that again. We're going to use this like the third box size ones to mark in the three holidays. So we've got Boxing Day, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So I'm just going to pop those three boxes in now. It's not something I'd normally do but I just feel because I'm marking them in the same way I kind of want to do that now. Okay. <clears throat> Then we'll put in a bougie box. We just obviously just need to, I've got enough for like two on the days. I think that's probably enough space. In fact, it's more space than we need. So we can get rid of this half cut header. Oh my God, if we can. Nope. <laughs> oh my God. Actually like proper stuck down. Ugh. Well, it's just going to have to stay there. Okay. Well, we'll do the other bougie box in a minute. It can stay stuck on the back of my hand for now. So on this day, we had a bit of a lion. I just need to work out which colour this is. It's this one. Um, yeah, this one. Um, so I think I'm just going to pop that on a little thing. How many things? Where's my cheat sheet? I'm annoying myself now. Sorry. So we've got 16 things to mark, so about four in every box-ish. Okay, cool. So, Boxing Day, sleep in. I was feeling really poorly. Um, I just was not very well for the majority of this week, to be quite honest with you. Um, so there's that. I think I might put that on something a little bit bigger. Let's use this. And then after that, I did my morning routine. I remember what happened this day. This was not a great day, to be honest. 
And then we just did so had some rest um just to try and get the day going um and then we went over to my parents house for the rest of the day and had some family time um right Put that down there. So for I'm tempted to put the family time on a flag. And then things started to go downhill from there, to be honest with you. Um oh. no beer time wasn't has oh yeah, then I had an argument with my mum. Um and then my dad pissed me off really. It was <laughs> yeah. Um so what will fit in that box? Probably a third box. Yeah, third box is kind of perfect. So what we're gonna do, I should probably have left the flag down or the flag somewhere. It's gonna go about there. So then we just need to cut off this a little bit below that. And then we've just got this extra bit of bougie box which we can use on Wednesday to make Wednesday fuller. Okay. So let's put in our third box to mark my dad upsetting me. It was about the argument. Like basically he told me I was being unreasonable and I like. And I just wanted to get out of the house and calm down. And my dad told me I was being ridiculous and I wasn't allowed to leave basically. It was a situation. So that's there. Um, should I fill that in? I kind of prefer it when I fill in as I go along. So for my holidays I've just got these little stars and then should be one of these that says Boxing Day. There it is. I haven't quite like ordered these, like I have ordered them because I've done them in the order I needed them. Um, then one's gonna be for feeling poorly. I think I do like the size of these scripts to be fair. Um, okay so got boxing day in there then for sleep in I'm tempted to cut this in half. Would that be silly? What have I done with my scissors? If I can find my scissors quickly it's not silly. Um, so we're just gonna go straight along there. Where the hell did that go? Good. Well, we'll find that in a bit. Hopefully. Seriously, where did it go? You can probably... It's on my finger now. Don't know where it did go, but it's now stuck to my finger, so it's fine. Let's just sleep in. And then, for feeling poorly, I've just got a little stethoscope from the foil bundle. I haven't quite worked out when I want words next to each other and when I want them. My lighting does seem really weird. Oops. I need to look at that in a minute. Then for my morning routine, I've just got these bears that I've used this time. I'm just gonna have a look at my camera after I've done the put these boxes and these scripts on. Then for some resting time, I've tried to use as much of the foil bundle as I could. Um, and also just, yeah, scripts where I can, etc, etc. Then went over to my parents' house and had some family time. Then, obviously, as I've said, I had a bit of an argument with my mum. So I've just got this arguing sticker and up with mum. And then, oh god, that like bent as I stuck it down. Oh no, tearing in the middle. That's just gonna have to do because otherwise I'm gonna ruin the sticker. And then my dad telling me I couldn't leave and me thinking he was being unreasonable. Like I get why he didn't want me to leave, but also I just needed to go and calm. So 
And we've just got the script that says that dad being unreasonable. Excellent. Cool. Um, I'm gonna look at my camera settings, I'll be right back. I don't know whether that looks any different to you guys, but it looks better to me. So, well, yeah, that was just a quick little change. Okay, so then, um, marking in that I walked off after my dad finally let me live. Then that me and mum talked it out. Um, went back to Milton House and my then my auntie had arrived um i feel like i've not got my sheets where i'd normally have them and i'm really struggling to find things so just gonna put in little things here and here and then i think i've probably got space for a third box there yeah grand at the top now with my mum then last in the evening i did some reading so i'm going to jump down to the bottom and pop that in then we had we played weird things that humans search for um, which is a fantastic game if you've never played it i highly recommend it um then before that we had some family time and before that i did some bacon um quite a lot to mark on this day and what I haven't done is put anything free floating. But well, it's too it, well, it's kinda of not too late, too late, but I could put something free floating, but I don't really want to at this point. Um so that's there. So that is the rest of our day. I probably should put some things free floating because I do have to still do my pre plan with me. My my, my other yeah, my pre plan with me for this. So I'm going to start by popping the icons in and then we'll come back in it with the scripts that I made. Uh, let me know down below, what do you think? Do you think these scripts are the way forward or not? Do you think it's too much effort? Will I give up? <laughs> let me know how you think it's going to go for me. I don't love that there's three um, grey boxes in a row, uh, gold icons in a row, but it will be hidden so it's kind of fine. Um, I do definitely feel like I need to... Um, leave some white space for the rest of the spread um, oh, it was our first Christmas without my granny that's what I was just all walking at but yeah it's fine I'm just being I'm already a bit already okay so family time and then reading okay so there are the scripts we have so now for these ones here so, oh, I did have a Milton House script, but, well, so, I just put that on the wrong freaking box. I think we're going to have to use undo. <laughs> this is ridiculous, the amount of undo I've used in this spread. I just think if I don't, it's going to not stick back down on the correct box in a minute. Right. We'll come back to those two. And then, right. so that's for talk to mum, is what should have gone in that box. That's really not straight. Is there enough undo left on the sticker to make that better? Yes. That's much better, good. Sorry, I'm being a perfectionist because it's like the first spread in the planner and stuff. Yeah, and then I'm going to mark that my auntie had arrived. I think this is where the Milton House script is meant to go. Who knows? That's what I'm going to put on it. Cute. Um, so then I just need the walked out. Let's get that here. They're not the best first day in my planner, like emotion wise but oh my god look how good it looks and then the game we played was weird things humans search for so that just fits perfectly on there i'm obsessed with how that came out i really am oh i might be obsessed a with this script combo which is will come to the shop at some point 
Um, these are not my fonts, but they are similar to like how I would do them. Um, I can't sell these fonts, they're not for commercial use, but I'm obsessed. Okay, on to Tuesday. Um, so, we need to remember to do some white space on these days. Um, but first things first, I slept in and then did my morning routine. Things can be quite a bit bigger on this day because um, we've not actually got that much to mark. And then whilst we were getting ready and um, Chris kept trying to talk to us and me and Zoe were just like, please, 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 no, we are too tired for this. It's too early in the morning, please. <laughs> and then we um, actually, I'm gonna move that in there for some, having some rest. But we did go over to my parents after that. Um, so, oh my God, that is not straight in the slightest. Um, so for Chris, so for Chris trying to talk to us, I think that will fit, but I think it'll just be better if I just use a little thing, just like three little things in a row seems a bit much, but it's fine. So, as I said in before, I do actually think I prefer it when I put things down closer to when I've talked about them. So even though it's probably not the most efficient way to do things, so if we're being for sleeping in slash being really tired got that then for morning routine we did go to bed really late to be fair um for morning routine i've just got this um little bear and a morning routine script and then for chris trying to talk to us i've got this sad eye because that's basically how we felt and then for having some resty time I've just got one of the icons from there and a self-care script. Um, there. I think I might be missing a script, but we'll deal with that in a minute. Um, so for Chris chatting, that's literally what I've written, Chris chatting. I'm pretty sure this next box was to mark going to Milton House again. So unless that's not what that was for, but I'm fairly sure it was. So I might need another Milton House box at some point, but oh well. Um, so we're going back to my parents' house. I'm just going to use a quarter box. And then we celebrated Christmas 2.0 this day. Um, so this was our, meant to be our family Christmas, but actually we ended up... Um, I kind of want to put this here so um I'm just thinking about how I do that um what I can put here instead so if we're going to Milton House and then we can mark in some family time yeah why not mm. And then I'm also going to mark in it just generally feeling pretty poorly because I was, I really was quite unwell um, to be honest, I, yeah, it was rough, it was a rough few days, to be honest this wasn't the greatest week in the world, it was a pretty rough week to be honest with you, none of my boxes fit that I want to put in there, oh I've got an appointment over on it, yeah that'll have to do. So we're not gonna, so we are gonna mark going to Milton House, which is where I think I'm missing a script. So we might have to put that in later, but we'll see. And then I'm gonna skip um, marking Christmas 2.8 first. We're gonna put family time in first. Um, so I've just got a with a family script. It's mostly what we were doing is having a lot of family time. Um, and then for feeling poorly, that there and the reason i wanted to do that is because i'm then going to go into this box here and we're going to celebrate christmas put christmas 2.0 here 
and I do just have a cat Christmas cat in there for Christmas 2.0. Uh, my brother um, and his wife came over um, for a bit but then he kept disappearing and it was just annoying me so that's that um, little annoyed thing there for that and then we did presents so for gifts I think put in this here um, and I actually think we need to put in our oh, last bougie box for this day next I think again I can probably pull this up whoops Bye -bye. maybe I shouldn't have put all of those in because I think if that goes there this will clear so that's it for presents we had Christmas dinner um, Uh, Christmas dinner that I was doing some reading and we had a games evening so for the games evening you're going to use the paint swatch and then for reading I'll just use a little thing perfect I love this spread so much already so for presents I just got a little gift from the foil bundle Christmas dinner our second Christmas dinner in three days. She's got knife and fork again from the foil bundle. Then was doing some reading again. That's from the foil bundle and that's from a planner face doodle sheet. And then for game night, I haven't written down what game we played, which I'm trying to make more of an effort to write like what game we played and stuff. I've just got that and a with family script from an old colourful and go on. So let's get the rest of these scripts in. So, I specifically in some places wrote feeling like shit rather than just feeling poorly um, because of how rough I was feeling so I just want to make sure that there, those days I've written like that um, but I didn't on this day I was just feeling poorly uh, so I've just got feeling poorly for there as I said, I think we're missing the Milton House script. Then Christmas 2.0 script is the same as the one in the sidebar, um, except um, this time I'm going to try and make sure you can see the 2.0. <laughs> you can't in the sidebar because it's over the drink. And then so basically, my brother came round and then he disappeared. Um, and then he came back without his wife because she was not very well that's why he disappeared but he didn't really tell anybody that so she they just disappeared and um, they, they told my brother but via my parents via text and asked them not to tell other people that she wasn't feeling well which i didn't really understand probably shouldn't be putting on the internet but she looked not and um, for our christmas dinner i've just got christmas and that's that oh seriously though this <laughs> On to Wednesday. So the first thing we're marking in on Wednesday. Oh no, we are on to the darkest colour. I was just panicking then. Uh, first thing we're marking in on Wednesday is my morning routine. And then I did some reading. Um, I actually think yeah so um i was back at work this day and um, so i drove into work and i'm trying to sit in my car before work and read because i did get to work a bit early just so that it's easier to park basically so that's for that um and then my car coolant was leaking and um, so i had to fix that um so we'll mark that in and then i went and had my day at work I'm hoping that these colors line up I would really like to be able to use them so I'm going to pop that there for work then I was really not feeling particularly well I probably shouldn't have gone to work this day but I did I was there and I stuck it out and it was to be fair it was okay I just 
so this is one of the times I actually really feel like shit because that's a more accurate like representation of how I was actually feeling was like shit um so then we'll put the next bougie box down so you can see now why I like do it how I do it just so that um you you bougie box just stretch a little bit um so this day I was not on my normal ward I went and was on an elderly ward I haven't used any of the pink boxes but maybe I'll just save them for the special occasions that's fine um and I was with like one of my the first consultants I um ever had like she was yeah um, um I love her she's great and um, so I've just put her there um so oh, feel like shit oh lovely Dr Hampson then after after work I came home and mostly just was doing a shed load of resting so I might actually use a proper half box there rather than that like fake half box um I do tend to use more of the half boxes in my um memory spreads than I do in my pre-planner uh, in my pre-planner than I do in my memory spreads um I'll just put that down there and we'll probably cut it off at some point um I'll just sort it out in a minute so that's there for that and for resting and part of my rest I did some colouring we then got the heated throw from my parents house to use that which was glorious honestly if you don't own a heated throw highly highly recommend um so where's my little thing I've literally just left stuff all over like it's not where it normally would be for this spread so I'm just getting myself really confused and then the last thing I'm going to mark in is doing some reading so it's now time to cut off this box and just enough space for a little thing at the bottom so we can just pull this up so I'll pop the little thing in at the bottom for reading and then whatever we can fit in this space which it looks very third box space to me for colouring probably doesn't need to be that big but <laughs> um, that's what the space we have left so I didn't put any of that down as we went along I don't know what I find easier I think I find putting the boxes down easier first in some ways because it allows me to um make sure everything fits and like fit things in nicely but I do have more of an idea now so I don't know um look how perfectly that book matches I'm sorry but like is that that isn't the same colour um I don't know what is um oh, this spread if you ever just do a spread and you're like this is fire this is absolute fire because that's how I feel about this spread which is exciting because I want it to because it is the first week in this planner and I want it to feel fire yeah. but yeah um I vary whether I use just use my finger or whether I um use the tweezers it kind of depends on the sticker like the ones on clear paper I just find much easier to pop down with the tweezers because I feel like it matters a little bit more I don't know, I don't know what I'm about <laughs> um I don't know I, just, I say and I immediately like put down I think if I'm in a like role of using tweezers I use tweezers if I'm not I don't I don't know what this little oh no it was the heat throw I was gonna mark big oh that's stuck there now and I've just lost my colouring sticker oh no it's full enough I found it I found it I found it it's a really tiny sticker for colouring <laughs> and it's also now got the lacking gone from where it fell but oh well and then reading is in the same way as literally I've marked it all week with a wonky script so for my coolant leak I've got so I'm just gonna bob through now and pop my scripts in um, let me know down below what do you think of the scripts do you think it's great or do you think it's completely excessive because I kind of see the argument both ways but just look how good it looks and I feel like I'm converted it's a lot more effort don't get me wrong it is quite a lot more effort 
but I think like once I've because I tend to mark like the same sort of things so like things like when I'm watching the same tv show it's much easier to I haven't got my heated throw script for here I don't actually remember making it to be fair so anyway, we'll see what's left at the end of the day um so now we're just going to put in our best bits for these days so obviously wednesday is the heated throw and such like i found that script um, so that's just heated through and um, so i made this quite similarly to and so this like script thing is completely inspired by um several people so rosie plan not rosie plans plan with, yeah no rosie plans does it and um, she changes her font every week though and i think that's a lot of effort to me um at least <laughs> mm. i don't know which way around these scripts are so i'll come back to monday <laughs> but yeah i just oh, we'll see um so let's move on to the second half of the week but at the moment i'm obsessed so on Thursday, the first thing I'm going to mark in is doing my morning routine, which if you've been here a while, you know exactly what I'm going to use for it. It's going to be a little thing. And by the way, we are going backwards now through the colours. Um, so essentially, I just used both sets of colour, like all of the colours, but I mirrored them, which I think just looks amazing. So this day, I was meant to be going to um, Castle Howard with my fam lamb. It's gone really pale again. I think it's when it's trying to autofocus on the top of the day extenders. Maybe I should change my focus. Maybe it's my focus being weird. I think that is what it is. It doesn't know where to focus. I genuinely think that's the issue. That's why it looks rubbish. I'm going to change my focus. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Also, God damn it, Anna, if you're watching this, I'm. <laughs> I swear my zoom settings used my like bleh, words I'm failing miserably at speaking here god damn it Anna so Anna recently bought the camera that I have um, and she asked me what I did with focus because she wasn't enjoying how it was auto focusing and I'd never noticed a problem with it <laughs> now she's said it I'm like I keep thinking I have a problem with my auto focus <laughs> so there's that okay so this day is the other day I felt like utter shit um so there's that I, to be honest it was a week I don't know why I'm saying the other day it's literally the entire week I felt rubbish um but there's there we go um so um I just spent the majority of the day resting and feeling poorly um I kept trying to do things and have a productive time but it just was not working for me I just kept feeling worse and worse and worse and not being able to do anything it was a bit of a faff really um I don't know whether I was really well enough to be doing anything but I was trying to um then I took a nap because I like that's how rough I was feeling you know if I'm napping that is bad <laughs> um then i've recently become in love with a game called avenger i freaking love it it's great um i play it all of the time at the moment um so i spent a lot of that this day playing that and then i seem to have hang on I'm confusing myself because I seem to have loads left to put in and not much space so I'm just gonna go through so I've got morning routine Ooh. feeling like shit for resting I've just got this Christmas jumper thing because I like when to use jumpers other than there and my resting I generally mark just as me time because I have me time scripts then for trying to do things I've just got this and then for my repeated naps I've got sleepy AF okay. 
playing adventure and now we're going to jump to the bottom and work back up because i've confused myself so the last thing i actually want to mark in is keeping falling asleep on the sofa because that's like how rough and tired i was feeling so i think what i actually want to do is grab a glitter header and throw that somewhere in the middle of it preferably straighter than that that's kind of straight and central-ish and then we're going to layer the script over it so i'm going to do that now just to check that doesn't look rubbish i have kind of just practiced it off to the side where you couldn't see but yeah so that's for keeping falling asleep on the sofa essentially i was trying to stay up to prep for nights and failing miserably <laughs> is essentially the long and the short of it um then i want to mark in doing some reading and then we also watched some tv i don't know what show possibly jane the virgin um yeah that will work okay um i think i've worked out my spacing which is good and you don't fit it's gonna have to be another little thing i'm a bit worried about how few little things i'm gonna have for my, my pre-planner because like little things aren't my most used sticker by quite a lot <laughs> um did we watch two different things did we finish a tv show i don't know probably watching jane and watching something else um so Then we are going to just use one more of the half cut headers if I can find one. Yep. Here to not have to use another box on that day, which actually I think I've got loads of boxes left now because of how like much I've squidged things. But I haven't like meant to squidge it, it's just happened. Yeah, I know. Like it's just because I'm used to trying to conserve four boxes. That I just automatically do it. And I'm not going to love that this flag doesn't have bougie underneath there. I might put a header over it. Am I being ridiculous? Probably. Am I going to do it anyway? Yes. Yes, I am. So actually, instead of that half cut header, I just want the full header in that space. View. And then the flag has bougie underneath it. And it's much happier. Good. I think part of the reason this is so confusing for me is that um, I have two sets of each sticker as well so like it's hard to focus on what's for this spread and what's for the other spread which is going to look quite similar but it's completely different colours and stuff. Um, so like all the stuff I'm marking is going to be identical but I don't know whether I'll use the scripts or not for it. I haven't generally in that planner so that planner is probably going to get written in <laughs> which yeah so I've got another feel like shit script for there and then for I'm just gonna like as I see a script that I can use I'm gonna pop it in so like if I know something's for colouring, I'm going to put colouring in. So like this, I know, is for doing some colouring. It is the Disney colouring book, and I freaking love it so much. It's so good. Yeah. So, like, normally I'd have just put phone game in for this, but, like, because I'm making the script, I, like, I'm putting the adventure, and I love that so much. I'm going to see what I've got left, because... I feel like this might just be... No, there's just no script for it and I don't, I don't know what I meant to do anyhow let's move on to Friday so yeah it was meant to be on nights the rest of the weekend oh wait I've just I've abandoned the, the day halfway through it good um so after the colouring yeah so I was binge watching Jane the Virgin um and then me and Soch watched um, Game of Thrones together that's why there's two um... did we only watch Game of Thrones once this week because I just needed chill show I wanted like a longer one but that's fine 
there we go okay so on to friday um so friday i was meant to be on at nights so <laughs> first thing I'm marking in is feeling like is the words I've written are feeling like that's a shite because I don't know what summarizes how I was feeling other than that um and then I'm gonna mark in that I was feeling short of breath walking down our stairs and surprisingly I ended up calling in sick for work can you tell why what am I like so that's there. um so for being short of breath walking it down the stairs then i really think i've just missed off some scripts I've really baffled myself here actually i don't want to mark that as big i'm gonna pull that up i probably should have pulled in some more court boxes and stuff but it's too late for that now Mm. I'm feeling really indecisive on this spread. I can see how people just use one full kit a week. Um, so that's going to be for my resting. Oh. Yeah, so resting on the sofa. Rest on sofa is what I've got written in. And then I decided to call in sick for work because I'd like. It was a big debate for me, but I just decided I really wasn't feeling well enough to go in. And if I was feeling that rough, I shouldn't be looking after other people. So that's what we did. Called in sick. Um, then I took a nap. Because <laughs> that is my life. Um, how much more have I got? I've got a lot more to fit. This can't be this big. I forgot this day I've got nine things to mark and I'm not really using the space to mark nine things. So things are going to have to go smaller than I would like them. So we are going to reverse, reverse, reverse. So this is going to go in here instead. We're basically going to, we've got just got nine things and not very much space, have we? So I was just getting confused why I had so much left to mark because because I was squeezing a lot into this day. Um, so that's for my nap. Um, then I was playing Eat Venture. It's obviously a food related game, hence its name. Um, so I'm going to use another little thing to mark playing that. And I've got a piece of pizza. That's why I'm explaining it's food related. Um, then I'm going to jump down to the bottom where I'm going to mark in reading. And then I was doing some colouring as well. Um, so I'm just using the half-square headers here because I've got them um, and then if I've got some stairs that will be useful so I've got I've only got two, one two three four five six seven yeah I've got two things left to mark so one of them can be a bit bigger which is good um where is which of them do I want to pick up? Probably binging Jane because it actually was like most of the day. I was binge watching Jane and um, so that could be bigger. And then I should really cut these headers in half but I just don't care enough to do it. <laughs> so do we have anything between a little thing and a quarter box? Like maybe two strips of washi. Will that work? I like that okay so now I'm getting the hang of this I don't need to mark in everything so feeling short of breath going down the stairs I do just have this little inhaler it's a little bit red but it's fine then for resting on the sofa I've just got the same ugly jumper because why not for making the decision and calling in sick god it took us forever to get through that day <laughs> bless so she did it while I went and napped <laughs> And then they didn't pick up and then they text me like, is this you? And I was like, yes, yes it was. Um, then for Eat Venture, as I said, for Lovely's Pizza, because binging Jane was most of the day, I've just got a TV and a bigger box. And then for colouring, I've used a sticker sheet because it kind of makes sense to me. I don't know why it does, but it does. And then reading. Let's go through and pop our scripts in. Um,
Like that's how poorly I was feeling this day. I just didn't even do my morning routine even though I was at home. Like if that doesn't summarize that I was feeling rubbish, I don't know what does. Just remember I had this box, but well, it's too late now. Okay, on to Saturday. So on Saturday, we're gonna mark in, in fact, I'm just gonna put both in. So we've got New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. There and there. Um, and in fact, let's just pop in the scripts. Finish off. Oh, these look so good. Oh, I'm literally obsessed with the scripts. Is it more effort? Kinda. But also, it's worth it. So, yes. Right. So that's for New Year's Eve. And then marking in that I was still very poorly, obviously. If you haven't noticed a the theme here, that's it. Um, so, but I did. So I didn't go to, I was meant to be on nights all weekend. I didn't go in at all. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna mark in is that I was feeling really poorly. Because I was. Um, I spent half the day napping on the sofa again and by half the day I mean the majority of the day napping on the sofa um, and binge watching Jane the Virgin. <laughs> My life sounds incredibly boring <laughs> this week, <laughs> mostly because it was. Um, so that's there and there. Um, then I did some colouring. I was just trying to do something that didn't require much energy, but I could do, yeah, without much focus. And yeah, I probably could have got away, because I've got quite a lot of beauty boxes left, I probably could have got away on this day of not using, or on the whole week of not using these under here, but it's just so much easier. Um, so that's for colouring and then obviously I was playing a lot of adventure because this week is nothing if not repetitive um, and then we went round to my parents house just to have fireworks with my nephew um, which was really cute and I was really glad we were able to go for that um, and I was glad I managed to be able to go but I literally like stood and watched the fireworks and I was like right bye I'm off <laughs> because I was not really up to being there. Um, super sociable of me, but I mean, I was off work, so not that I would have been work at that time, um, but like if that doesn't, I, I don't call in sick, like unless I can barely move, I don't call in sick. Um, I have been quite ill quite a lot recently, so I have called in sick more than like I normally would have done. I just keep getting poorly. I don't love the spacing of that, but it's gonna have to do. This, basically, this needs to be a tiny bit higher up. That's what I was trying to allow myself to do. Okay, good. Um, right, I'm gonna pop some boxes in. It's been really poorly for nap time. I'm hoping the spread that matches this in my old memory planner will be easier because I've done this one, if you see what I mean. I don't know whether it will, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. So, for binge watching Jane, um, I've got a binge watch script there. Then for colouring, I've just marked colouring and eat venture big because like it's literally all I could do or think of. <laughs> like that's how little focus I had, like colouring even at times it felt like too much effort. It was not ideal. So yeah, went for fireworks. Then, I don't really know how to do this. I don't know whether to go down here and then go up to here. And also I need to cut this off. <laughs> Should I have used a ruler for that? Probably. But did I? No, and it's fine. 
<laughs> I should probably try and use up there all the little bits I've got on Sunday. And then I might even be able to just like have three dead extenders left, which uh, underlays left, which would be amazing. Okay, so um, what colour we are on pink? I'm a little bit worried about my memory spread of this week, my pre spread of this week, because I'm not going to have many boxes left. It's fine. Normally, like my memory spread is the one I'm like using at the end of the kit, so it kind of doesn't matter as much. What do I have left in pink? I feel like this is going to have to be worked as pink because I've still got quite a lot to mark. Okay, so then we had loaded fries for dinner, which were delicious. So that's going to go there. Then so she was just taking forever, and I think I'm just going to pop this free floating because I can. And I have. space um, actually we're going to jump onto the other side and I'm going to put read free floating at the bottom and this is going to be it for new year kiss and then what can we use for the new year countdown mm. going to use my trick of using two washi strips again. These two didn't stay together as well but that's fine. So that's the new year count. So we've got new year countdown, new year kiss and readings so just going to go free floating. Then I'm just going to put watching TV in nice and big here and just use a washi strip again for so sh taking forever okay good that kind of works i don't love it i'm a bit worried about the memory spread at uh, the pre-plan with me spread <laughs> the post-planned pre-plan with me spread <laughs> so i don't know what we were watching um it could have either been jane or um game of Th thrones game of thrones it was um but that's fine so i'm feeling a bit better about the spread like i love i love the spread i'm just i'm really worried about my memory spread um just because i'm not gonna have much left but that's fine we'll make it work my pre my other spread oh why are my words so hard today so got loaded fries in here so she took forever to make them that's what I was I was whinging about <laughs> and the, the seal of disapproval <laughs> I was being a grumpy bitch basically um so then we've just got new year's countdown a new year's kiss Okay, on to Sunday, our final day. So we've just got New Year's Day in, then obviously I was feeling not very well. Is that anything new? No. And we're finally on to a day where we have plenty of stuff to mark things in, which is nice. <laughs> so I'm going to mark it a little bit bigger than the day before, I think. So if we're just not feeling well there um, and then I spent the whole day resting which is quite like to pop on a flag do we have a flag in this colour yes um, so I'm gonna have to use our bougie box there I was trying to save this bougie box but it's fine we'll just use it doesn't matter I'm not precious mm. 
there. Then you could literally write it. I'm sure you can guess the next few things I'm going to mark. Watching Jane the Virgin. Doing some colouring. Playing adventure. I don't think I needed this much space. I'm going to mark in reading next even though chronologically it's wrong I read before bed every night and um, that's where that would have fallen but it's just so I can mark the last two things bigger and it doesn't look done um, so that's going to be for reading and then I tried to do some planning so like back planning the weeks I'd kind of missed um, with being poorly and stuff um, and we we're watching some Game of Thrones, um, I believe. I think it was Game of Thrones. Could have been not Game of Thrones. Could have been something else. I don't love that I've used the patent half box and the patent half third box. But what I'm going to say is good luck to memory farm with me. That's a pre farm with me, person me, because enjoy the fact you've got sod all left. Oh, don't have any third boxes left other than that one. It's gonna happen. Oh no, it's a half. It's a new half box. I wanted. Just looking for a new third box and a new half box. I need. So let's get this down. It's got feeling like shoot. Oh no. Fuck. No 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 no. better right okay i got that literally this week is so boring but it looks glorious so there's that at least um, i just did the same things all day every day whilst feeling poorly <laughs> i mean that's what happens when you're ill you just need to sleep and rest and that's not what I was going to write. Map part mark there. That's going to go down here. Can I get the planning time up or do I need to pull out the undo? I need to pull out the undo. Excellent. One last bit of undo in this spread. And to be fair, we don't actually have to, um, because I'm using the scripts, we don't actually have to pause and speed up and write anything else in. So that is like the end of this video, to be fair. It is a long one boy at this point but I think it will be all right when it's because my um by the time you're seeing it because my base took me forever I think I'm just not used to like what did I do with the planning time scripts there not used to the sidebar stuff and things um so I'm nearly finished with my Jane the Virgin rewatch. I've got like, so this penultimate episode of Jane the Virgin is like the cast going over like how they felt about the series and stuff and it's super cute. Um, so there's that episode left. So yeah, I'm missing a Milton House script but I'll just print that off. So I'm missing two scripts so I'll just need to write them down and pull them in later. It looks like it was like intentional to not have to mark them in, but it wasn't. I just forgot about them. Good. Um, so, got my little list of what goes where on the sidebar. So, oops. Got Game Night, Christmas 2.0, Heated Throw. Oh, and Heated Throw. So, we, we missed three scripts. So, actually, for my first time making scripts, I feel like that's not bad. Thursday's Eat Venture, Friday's Jane the Virgin, 
me like trying to make a boring week sound less boring <laughs> oh what am i like um rest there and fireworks so i forgot so let's just look at the spread oh it looks so good so what scripts did i forget i forgot a milton house from here uh heated milton house heated throw try to do stuff and that's it and honestly i am obsessed with how this looks it is beautiful let's um and yeah that's my whole script sheet used up let's look what's left in the kit and then we'll pop these pages back in my planner so i really don't have much to do with them um pre-plan with me which is going to be interesting but then it's going to be quite basic spread because when i back pre-plan i tend to just keep spreads quite basic um where are the things and then in the foil bundle I'm trying to work out what's like left in the foil bundle we've got those few headers which i probably won't bother saving oh, i might do i might just throw them onto here so i'm not saving loads let me get rid of that sheet so we've got three four boxes and some headers there a few more headers some date dots and three of those and that's kind of it um i really do love how this looks the scripts is just chef's kiss so let's pop it back in my planner and see what the um deco and stuff looks like in here the answer is beautiful it really does um i'm obsessed i really love it god i like really really love it so yeah that's it for this video comment like down below if you enjoyed it thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye